what are you guys planning for 2020? Hmm? We are planning the exact same thing we planned in 2019 and 2018 before my health sent, my health went sideways. Um, we are going to work on infrastructure right now. Um, for 2020, I'm going to clean out this disaster of a shed because I need this area right here completely cleaned because that's where the goats kid. And I have two does who are possibly pregnant, so I need to get that cleaned out for them um, for kidding. And I need the chickens out of here. They need to get out of this shed. They are destroying everything in here. They have destroyed the saddlebags that we had up on the very top shelf. They've destroyed those. They've knocked tools to the ground that has gotten buried under here. And I have no idea where they're at. <clears throat> they destroyed their nesting box. I do have a better one. Um, so that is goal one. One of the goals, I should say, because they're not going in the order that I'm saying them. But the shed needs to be cleared, cleaned, and the chickens need to get out of here. Now, of course, the other things I'm going to do is I really need to get my health in order because it's hindering me getting things finished here. Um, I have to go to the doctor tomorrow because I have more blood test results, um, which... Looks like I'll probably get put on thyroid meds, but you know, it is what it is and I need to get healthy because I am the main worker here and without me, nothing is going to get accomplished. Um, so yeah, I kind of have to be healthy. I also want to um, lose some weight, get back into shape. After I had my sixth child, it I had an emergency C-section and a year after that, I had people were like, you do not look like you've had six kids. You are so thin. Um, I was thin because I smoked more than I ate food. So uh, I, I quit that years and years and years ago. Over over 20 years ago, I quit. Took up M&Ms and yeah, doubled in size. So uh, I do love my, I do love my sugar. I uh, we are also in the process of researching uh, a modular home, building ourselves, you know, stick-built versus uh, barn dominium versus manufactured home. Um, but I'm kind of hesitant on that because there has been some discussion about moving to another state. We'll see what happens with that, but that's a whole nother video. Sorry about the sun, but it's right where I need to film. Um, getting the garden area done, which should have been done already. But we had to pull some T-posts out. They did go all the way over to where that uh, straw, little straw bale is. And we had to pull them out because Tim might be getting a shed to build into a little cabin. Um, because of Axel. So we're waiting to see what's going on with that. We need to actually build proper fencing for the dogs because they are destroying the netting. So that's got to be something that gets done. Um, yeah, eventually I'm going to get that grill up. Right now it's just like a landmark on the property. <laughs> um, I have that little outdoor fire pit that I'd like to set up and we want to put a deck on the front. We discovered that our RE cover has condensation at night and it literally rains inside this RV cover which is kind of not what we wanted. Um, we want and then in all of all of those birds are living which I don't mind but they are getting all over the top of the camper which kind of defeats the purpose of having the RV car. Um, the condensation I have to figure out because it it rains in here and without sun hitting the top we're gonna end up with mold issues, mildew. 
Um, we put stuff underneath to protect it and it doesn't because it gets rained on inside the cover. The turkeys are out of room, completely and utterly out of room. I need to get the chocolate separated from the black Spanish and I need to build a turkey hut and two turkey runs. The black Spanish chickens, they're technically white faced black Spanish chickens, are, um, they're okay for now, but eventually I need to build them a run and um, I need to improve the nesting box. The hens don't like it, so they won't lay in it. I need to get the horses fenced back because they keep destroying the rainwater catchment system that we've been trying to build. Every time we get this one set up, they come over and destroy it. And I have five more of these IBC totes that I need to set up. I'm also setting up a rain catchment system on the back of every chicken coop and turkey hut. So that when it rains, we can hopefully um, water the animals from their own shelters. We are still working on trying to get the goat fencing up for the does. So it's going to start over there and go to there. And then on the other side is gonna be the same for the sheep, or we might put the sheep all the way back down this way. We haven't decided on that yet. Right now, we need to get the fencing up for the does. I have to go buy some more materials because I didn't have enough. And we need to get the horses fenced back because the donkeys are, one specific horse and one specific donkey are destroying everything. <laughs> The smoking stand has been here for a year. I need to build it. This camper is literally falling apart. Um, we have the materials to redo the bathroom, which is actually caving in. So we are going to be working on that shortly. But this whole thing, um, I said before, the intention was to completely gut it and then rebuild it and then Kate moved down. So, um, she has nowhere else to go if we work on it, so we kind of have to work around her now. The truck needs to be fixed. There's something going on with the front end, so it needs to be fixed. And the Tahoe is dead in the water, so I need to get it fixed. Probably going to get the Tahoe fixed first, and then the truck, because the Tahoe will be the cheapest alternative. Um, the truck needs over, I think the mechanic said it's going to need about $1,500 worth of work on the front. <laughs> but I need my truck, so I'm kind of divided because the truck is the feed and hay and, you know, the farm truck, the building material, vehicle, and so forth. I need to clean up that mess because it's just atrocious. It's really bugging me, but I have my mother always swore that I have ADHD because I am constantly, or ADD I should say, because I am constantly bouncing from one thing to another and it makes it really difficult to actually finish something. I need dirt for my garden because none of the raised beds, there's actually another raised bed inside that one that needs to be built and I need some dirt and some mulch and other things so I can have my garden. I miss my garden. I want to grow food. I have not been able to do it for three years and it's driving me insane. I do have an experiment going. Um, it's not the best of cold frames, but eventually I will actually build a full cold frame. And I'm probably going to set it in front of the camper like this one is so that it gets the southern sun in the winter time. Apparently Nani has a mouse. Hopefully she actually deals with it and not plays with it this time. I also want to do a series on organization in our camper and remodeling it. It's a, if I remember right, it's a 2016 Heartland uh, Trail Runner 30 USBH, if you want to see the floor plan. Um, but it's, there's so much wasted space in here, it's ridiculous, and we don't have a place to put uh, the dog crates, so they're kind of stacked in the way. So we're going to work on that as well. Have a great day, 
And if you feel led to do so, go ahead and drop your plans for 2020 in the comments. Like, subscribe. Um, you know, if you if you have Im improvements or suggestions for what we're doing, because I really suck at organizing. I really do. Um, let me know. I'll talk to you later.